Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Astra Mark II is the one missile whose trial was much awaited as it's meant to dominate the Indian Peninsula. While there has been no official confirmation on the middle trial of Astra Mark II, multiple reports were there in the mid of year 2022 for its expected trial which were never confirmed. Finally, the Ministry of Defence has confirmed in its annual report that during the year 2021, the captive and launch drop trials of the missiles were conducted. During the trial, ejection and retraction mechanism of missile was tested for the very first time during the launch using ejector launcher. In October 2022, during the press conference ahead of Air Force Day, a video was shared by Indian Air Force where we can see a missile launch from Su-30 MKI. On the missile, we can clearly see it's written BVR MK2 Astra. This is the first time the video of the launch has been released. A common ejector launcher, which is called Astra launcher, was also tested using Astra Mark II missile as per the images released. The common ejector launcher is going to be used for all the missiles of Astra family. In April 2023, DRDU has released a tender for propellant casting and supply of casted dual pulse rocket motors for Astra Mark II. As per tender, the required quantity is 15, which is set to be delivered within 8 months from date of contract. These 15 sets will be used for assembling of Astra Mark II missile, which will be further used for testing from Indian Air Force fighter jet. Now, that we know that Astra Mark II missile trial was conducted in the year 2021 itself, this missile should be in last stage of its development. DRDO may conduct few more tests on Astra Mark II before it is ready for production. In September 2022, HL has also showcased Astra Mark II in the weapon list of LCA Tejas Mark 1A. Surprisingly, the weapon was not listed under future weapons category but under the weapons category which is integrated with the fighter jet. Looking at all these progress and updates, we can expect Astra Mark II development to be completed in next few months. Talking about Astra Mark II, it is a dual pulse variant of Astra Mark I which borrows most of technologies from DRDO's other successful missiles like dual pulse motor from MR SAM and seeker from Astra Mark I which gives the missile a range of 160 km in head-on chase and around 40 km in tail chase mode. While Astra Mark I is a single pulse, smokeless, solid fuel motor, Astra Mark II is going to be a dual pulse missile giving it higher range. Astra Mark I is 3.6 meter long with a diameter of 178 mm and weighs 154 kg with a maximum range of 110 km. Astra Mark II will be a bigger missile with diameter of 190 mm and weight of around 175 kg. The Astra Mark II is comparable with American AIM-120D, the latest variant of Amram family and much better than Chinese export variant of PL-15 which is PL-15E. China has developed two variants of the long-range BVI missile which are PL-15E and PL-15 having maximum range of 145 and 200 km respectively. The PL-15E is export variant and has been exported to Pakistan Air Force along with J-10C fighter jet. The PL-15E weighs close to 200 kg and has a range of 145 km. Clearly, the missile is heavier than Astra Mark II by almost 25 kg and still having lesser range. This indicates that Astra Mark II features superior technology than Chinese missile. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.